Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video, I am going to go over some basics of 3D touch and more specific quick actions. So that is when you force touch on an app icon and some actions pop up also called quick actions. So I'm going to show you how to use them in your app. So if that is something you want to know how to do, just keep watching this video and I will show you exactly how to do just that. Okay, so let's see what we're able to do here. Do here, I've got my cup of tea. So now let's see if we are able to implement a quick action uh, for our app. So we start by creating a new Xcode project as always, and it's going to be a single view application. Just click next, and I'm going to call this quick, quick action. Um, 3D touch, just to make it a bit more complicated then I'm not going to use core data and make sure that the language is set to Swift. Okay, I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And now everything that we are going to do <coughs> is going to happen within this info.plist file. And I think this is a boring file. I don't like being in here because it's so dry and boring, but sometimes you just have to dive into it. And that's what this tutorial requires of us if we want that nice, quick, action that 3d touch quick action so what I'm going to start by doing is I'm first going to write it and make sure that you write it exactly as I do I'm pretty uh, you have to get this right else things won't work so write UI application short cut items just like that I'm just going to make sure that I have it correctly shortcut items yes and then I'm going to make it an array and then make sure that you click this arrow right here so that it points downwards and then click on plus. Now this is going to be a dictionary just like that and again make the arrow point downwards and click on plus. Now item number zero so this one right here is going to represent one of the options that the user is going to be presented with when he does the 3D touch on the app icon. So what we first have to get in place is these two things right here. So I will link this in the description if I remember to do so, but I will try my best. And we are going to, you see these two are required. So that's the UI application shortcut item type. So this is going to be the identifier that uh, we're going to give this quick action. So it's going to be like that. And what I would encourage you to do and what Apple encourages you to do is to take your bundle identifier, copy that, uh, go to info.plist again, go back, then paste it in, then uh, say dot and then the action name. So this is my action is going to be give the user the option to post an image quickly. So I'm going to say post image. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, because my quick action is going to take my user to a view controller where he can post uh, an image instead of taking him to the initial view controller. So that's so all well and good. Now we are going to need an icon. So copy this, I mean the title. So UI application shortcut item title. This is going to be our title of the shortcut that the user is going to be presented with. So click on plus one more time on the dictionary, just like that. And then we're going to give it a title, post image in my case. So now we've got the title, we've got an identifier that the user is not going to see, but we also need an icon or we don't need it, but I think it looks better that way. So I'm going to head over to this side here also where Apple has generous, uh, I always have a problem, generous, genuine, they have at least been generous to provide us with some icons. And here are the options. And I'm just going to pick one that more or less suits me. And I'm just going to choose the add option. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to, let's see, I first of all have to copy this. UI application shortcut item icon type, copy that, plus on dictionary, add it there, and then I'm going to here type in the name of the icon. So first of all, this is the same for everyone, UI application short 
icon type. And then I'm going to add the name of my icon, which was, let's see, which was add. So here we go. Here we have set up the quick action. It's really not more complicated than that. But of course, now we have to, right now, if our user were to click it, they would simply be presented with the initial view controller or the app as it is. But what we are going to do is we're going to tie a special um, action to this button right here. And we do that by going over to app delegate, scrolling all the way down, or there wasn't so much scrolling right there. And then I'm going to add something that's called perform action for shortcut item. There we go. So let's see, let's make it a bit wider. Now what this basically means is that this function, you, you don't need to understand what all this right here is, that's useless right now. Um, but um, all you have to understand is that this function, this piece of code is run every time a user clicks on a quick action. So every time a user clicks on a quick action item, this piece of code here is called. So what we are going to do is we're going to check, first of all, um, we're going to check which icon was tapped. So we're going to say uh, short cut item dot type was equal to, now we need the name of that I gave my, right there. Oh, let's see, bam, copy that. And then if it's equal to that, then we are going to do some special things. So let's say normally the user is presented with uh, view.main, so the main view controller. Uh, now you might want to take him to the view controller where he can post an image. So then you would say, um, uh, do it like that so that he is taken to, let's say, go to view controller where user can post image. So that's what you're going to do here. And uh, that's basically all there is to it. So you create an action and then you create an identifier for that action and then you check if that was the one that was clicked and if it was you're going to write or run a certain code so like here I'm going to take my user to the post the uh, post an image site instead of taking him to the initial view controller so that's really all there is to it and the only reason that I'm not testing this is not because I'm afraid it won't work but simply because I, I have an iPhone 5s which won't allow me to test it and um, so that sucks but uh, if you have more updated hardware then I would encourage you to try this out and leave a comment saying how well it worked for you because of course that's the only thing I want to hear. So um, thank you for watching and uh, make sure that you click the subscribe button and as always thank you once again for watching.